guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you had a great weekend, whoever you support, whatever game you went to. I went to Burnley versus Palace to watch a 3-1 win for the Eagles. I was sitting in the home end though, so I had to sit on my hands when the goals went in. But I was wearing a Palace jacket, so I wasn't that undercover. I got away with it though, it's fine. You may have noticed I've decided to change the name of this video to Football News with Jokes, because it's literally football news with me doing jokes about it. It's basically the same as five things we learned from the weekend's football, just I think a better name. Unfortunately I've still only got titles from five things we learned, so I'm going to get new ones for football news with jokes, but I'll forget it, just roll the titles. So Chelsea goalie Kepa Ariza... Arilla... Arizza... Kepa returned to the pitch. I mean, let's face it, you can't keep him off the pitch having been dropped by Chelsea during the week for refusing to come off in the Carabao Cup final last weekend. To be fair, it's not the first time that a Chelsea player has refused to do his job. Alvaro Morata refused to score any goals. Kepa was excellent at Fulham on Sunday during that Chelsea win. And do you know what? There's been rumours this season that Maurizio Sarri can't motivate his players. But clearly Kepa is highly motivated to completely ignore his manager's instructions. Apparently Kepa was going to apologise to his manager during the week, but he didn't because sorry seems to be the hardest word. Sorry. Chelsea, meanwhile, have been hit with a transfer ban for the next two windows for irregularities in signing younger players. <sighs> I mean, if only they had access to loads of players that they own but are currently playing elsewhere that they could bring back in the next couple of windows. But, uh, no, I mean, none spring to mind. Liverpool may well have bottled the Premier League title this weekend with a 0-0 draw at rivals Everton, their fourth draw in their last six league games. What was the reason that they couldn't get through against the Toffees? Well, Jurgen Klopp after the game said it was the wind. Yeah, he said, a wild opponent, and I know people won't like this when I say it, the wind came from all different directions. You saw that in a lot of situations. It didn't help any football play, especially when the ball was in the air, which was a lot. And I can now reveal the other excuses that Jurgen Klopp will use before the end of the season. The grass is a different length at different stadiums. The fans are too loud. Salah cutting off his beard. Shakiri's hairline disappearing. And Jordan Henderson. Brendan Rodgers is back in the Premier League, leaving Celtic for Leicester, and he took charge of his first game this weekend, a late 2-1 defeat at his former club, Watford. Now, a lot of people have said that Rodgers down the years is an egomaniac, but would an egomaniac have a life-size portrait of himself in his living room? Yes, yes, he would, definitely. <laughs> you know, people have said that Rodgers is the David Brent of football, but I think that's a bit harsh, you know. Actually, if we watch his latest post-match press conference on the weekend, I think we can see that actually couldn't be further from the truth. But relax, you know. I don't want all this, uh, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing? How are you doing it? No. Judge me by my results. <laughs> no, that was too easy, that one. During the week, there was an announcement video from Leicester as Rodgers was unveiled as their new manager. And loads of people said it looked like a hostage situation. Now, I've already put this on my channel a few days ago, but I've got exclusive footage of what Rodgers was trying to say during that announcement video. I'm delighted to be named manager of this fantastic football club. At Leicester City, the foundations are in place for us to grow and achieve many things. Hopefully with my experiences and the talent of the players in our squad, we can be successful together. See you all soon. Fulham are on to their third manager of the season already. Claudio Ranieri was sacked this week after just 109 days in charge. Caretaker manager Scott Parker is now in charge and after their defeat to Chelsea at the weekend, he said he's in it for the long term. And oh, wait, I'm just hearing, yeah, he's been sacked. Finally then, Man United have banned a Twitter account called Panini Cheapskates who do terrible drawings of Premier League footballers from using any of their players as they say it breaches copyright. A statement from the club said that they thought all the terrible draws at Old Trafford had ended once Mourinho had left. Apparently though, they have asked to keep the Phil Jones sticker for their programme as it's an upgrade on the actual Phil Jones. 
Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment below with what you learned from the weekend's football. Drop a like on the video if you're happy to see this series back and you like the new name, Football News for Jokes. Also, you can follow me on Instagram where I do daily football ridiculousness and I'm on Twitter and Facebook. So see you on there as well. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel for weekly football videos like this and parody songs. Maybe even hit that little bell and join the notification squad like Yash Tandon. That's it, I'm off to go and take over at Fulham. See you later.